are together again on the radio. Here's another story so many of you sent in to me. So many of you. And uh, I know you can't fight the tide. When that many of you send a story in, no doubt about it. It's something you want to talk about, and we're going to talk about it. How many times have I told you, boys, and I know many of you have taken my advice, and many of you have completely ignored me. Some of you are on the fence about this. I don't think you'll be on the fence about it after this story. How many times have I told you, boys, always get a DNA test? Always insist on a DNA test. Anytime a woman tells you you're a father, do it automatically. How many times have I told you if you have a child and you've ever had the slightest bit of doubt to get that DNA test? Find out if that's your kid. Some of you just don't want to know. But many of you are living a lie. You're living with a slut who went out and got knocked up by somebody else. And you're not only living with a slut, but you're paying a slut's bills. Which is pretty outrageous. Listen to this story. and It involves uh, the name of somebody you've heard of. A DNA test, this from abcnews.com, a DNA test has shown that a man who was paying child support to Scott Peterson's former mistress, Amber Fry, is not, not her child's biological father. Anthony Flores, 29 has been paying $175 a month child support for almost four years. You know how much that is? You know how much that is? You want to know how much that is? Think about this. Almost four years. That's $2,100 a year. That's over $8,000. Paid to Amber Fry that, by the way, Anthony Flores will never see again. Never see it again. It says here, a DNA test found that there was 99.9% chance that another man fathered Fry's four-year-old daughter. A Madera County, California court judge ruled Monday that child services should drop efforts to continue collecting child support payments from Flores as DNA tests found that the probable father of Fry's daughter was Modesto, California restaurant owner Christopher Funch. Restaurant owner named Funch? What's this place called? The Funchinette? The Funch Room? <laughs> At a press conference after the ruling, Flores said he was satisfied with the ruling but felt deceived by Fry. Duh. I feel foolish and I feel betrayed, Flores said. Otherwise, I feel I was being cheated on. You're not only being cheated on, pal. You, you gave her $8,000. You're never going to see again. Says here she was very convincing when she told me I was the only person who could be the father. He says it puts me in a position where there's a lot of questions now that I'd like to have answered, Flores continued. I want an apology. Don't hang by your thumbs waiting for that. Amber Fry and Christopher Funch have not commented publicly on the ruling. Attorney Gloria Allred, who represented Fry during the Peterson investigation and trial, but was not involved in the child support case, defended Fry. Amber, in good faith, she said, always believed that Mr. Flores was her child's father. This is what she told the Modesto B. Yeah, but did she tell Flores that she was uh, she was getting the uh, getting the bricks put to her by uh, another guy who owned a restaurant? Did she tell him that? Did she tell him? Well, let's see. It's either you. 
or Christopher Funch. I, I don't know. I guarantee you she didn't say that. Gloria Allred continued, only after the results of a recent DNA test taken by the true biological father. Did Amber realize that Mr. Flores was not the father of her child, Allred said. To the best of Amber's knowledge, Mr. Flores did not take a test and he needs to take responsibility for his failure to do so. Well, did Mr. Funch take a test? No. So he skates away without having to pay the $8,000 that Anthony Flores had to pay. This is the kind of thing, boys, that happens when you say, uh-oh, I think I might be a father. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get any of those letters. I'm not going to respond to any of this stuff. You have to fight fire with fire. If you are told you're the father of a child, you go right down and get that DNA test. You don't hide because they're going to find you. And by the way, this Anthony Flores, they not only took the $8,000 out of his paycheck. They also uh, got his driver's license suspended for failure to pay child support. And he has had to live with this for four years. And he said in another article I read that it's been hard for him to have relationships. Women have uh, bolted on him when they found out this was going on. Thought he was a deadbeat dad and what have you. You fight fire with fire. When somebody comes at you, you get one of those letters, you go right down and take the test. You don't throw the letter away. You don't hide because what they do is they find you. It's not hard to find you. You have a social security number and you're working somewhere. They find you and they take the money out of your paycheck. Ultimately, they will find you. You can't hide from this kind of thing. And many times, if you go take the test, you find out you're not the father, then you're completely off the hook and she is a SOL. So, boys, now that you've heard this story, are you more likely? Would you go down there and have that DNA test taken? You find out if that little kid is uh, actually your kid, not some bastard child of some bartender or restaurant owner. What do you think about this? Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-866. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. I have nothing but the greatest amount of appreciation, gratitude, and respect for what you're doing here. I really thank you. The Tom Likes Show. Tom is our telephone number. It's Todd on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Todd. Well, here's my story, Tom. Uh, I was with this girl for about two years. We ended up getting married. After about eight months, she finally said, after, after she eight, eight months pregnant, she tells me that she cheated on me. After we're already married, and I just want to get some advice from me what I should do. How long ago was that? This one, the one my baby, the baby's uh, two months old now. So this, she just, this is recently. Why didn't you have the DNA test already? Well, I didn't really think about it until now. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait a minute. So when she told you she cheated, did you assume this was your kid, or did you think maybe it's not my kid? Well, I thought it was my kid at first until she told me this. All right, so, all right, so she told you, and then why didn't you have a DNA test immediately? Well. I don't know. I just, I had no clue. I, she kept telling me, oh, it's yours for sure. It's yours. Don't how worry could about she it. have? How could she possibly know that? I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So I you think I should go get a DNA test then. By all means. Wow. All right, Tom. I appreciate that. Can you hey, well, the by the way, why are you staying with a cheating bitch? I, actually, we're in divorce. We're getting divorced, uh, divorced right now. I'm trying to, you know, I just, it was a big, it was a big mistake. I'm 24 years old. I never should have done this. And now I'm paying for it now. Well, you're, you're paying for it only as long as you don't get the DNA test. Well, I'm, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to call tomorrow and find out where I get this done at and do this as soon as possible. Excellent. But uh, I, I really like you, Tom. I just see you every day. Uh, you help me out with all, all kinds of stuff. And uh, Can you take me out of the bomb here, Tom? Here you go, Todd.
Jamie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jamie. Long time, second time. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. Here we are. Um, What's up? Here we are. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, I called, you know, maybe about a year ago. Um, you convinced me to go down and get a DNA test, and uh, so I did that. I was facing some uh, serious financial hardship if uh, this kid was uh, going to be in my pocketbook, if you know what I'm saying. Yes. So uh, I went down. I got a DNA test. Found out this kid wasn't mine. The, the, her whole family's all Christian. Their jaw hit the ground. <laughs> you know them Christians, man. you got to love them. Absolutely. So uh, what did they all do? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, I went down. We, we did the whole DNA test because, like I said, they were going to uh, hit my my checkbook pretty hard. Well, and, by the way, I, I, I don't remember the story. Were, were you divorced from her? Or no, were you... no. I, I, was, I was seeing her for about a year. Oh, you were dating her. She, yeah, she got it. I finally got it out of her that it, there was maybe that... That little one percent in her mind possibility with a mind in me that was like about a ninety nine percent possibility. Right. Mm hmm. And because uh, of course you know, like you say, I, I practice you know safe sex, and, and of course you know learn from my father here. Yes. And uh, so I, I was I was positive deep down inside, and, and I saw the kid. I held it, and I, I just I didn't feel it. It just something felt really wrong to me. Mm hmm. And uh, so how did it? Was everybody there when you got the results? No, you know, the uh, the results came to me in the mail, and, and I, I had to call about 3,000 people uh, within about 10 minutes of finding out. And we went out, and we had a great party. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know. Where oh, wait, 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 wait. Before, before you give your little moral of the story here, I just want to get yeah. the whole story from you. I want to make sure we got the whole thing. So they, their jaws dropped, and then did they try to talk you into staying? What did they do? Oh, they, they told me that, that there had to be some type of mistake. That they wanted me to reread the paper. It said, uh, it said Jamie uh, was excluded as being the biological father of, of you know, my, the child. And uh, I swear to God, I mean, my, my heart just exploded. I, I, I forgot the English language. I had to get open a dictionary and make sure for excluded men I wasn't. And I was just, I mean, it was off the wall. So the Tom Likas show saved you how many thousands of dollars over the next 18 years? Uh, it's probably in between 100 to 200 thousand dollars, easy. Uh huh. Uh, that, 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 all right, now now tell the boys what you learned from your experience, and what they should do based on what you did. Um, you know what I'd recommend, regardless if uh, if you have any doubt in your mind whatsoever that the child is yours. Um, I, I would tell anybody with 100% conviction that you, you can at least go down and get a DNA test. I went to uh, trustinblood.com. It gave me a listing of different, uh, of different uh, paternity testing places and, uh, and more or less, you know, uh, I, I would recommend it to anybody. I mean, it's better to be 100% positive than have that little seed of doubt in your mind. That's right. Exactly. And now you're off the hook. Do you hear from her at all? You know what? Uh, I haven't even been so uh, fortunate as to run into her somewhere because I'd probably start laughing at her and pointing. <laughs> but, I uh, love that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, again, if you check out uh, trustandblood.com, it'll give you a listing of all the different places in your area where you can go get a DNA test. Sounds good to me, Jamie. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate that. What a great story. Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Jeff. Hey, I know the situation completely, man. I was seeing this chick and uh, sleeping with her. She was crazy in bed, going there, play. Tell me, hey, come tie me up, come tie me up. She got knocked up. It was somebody else's kid. She played me like a fiddle, man. Took, uh, came over after she had the kid, spent the night, the whole bit. And next thing I know, I'm getting served papers from the. You know, I got to pay ch child support. Uh huh. So I go and get me a lawyer and uh, tell him the situation, and he's all like, "Well, why don't you just try to uh, work things out with her and this and that?" And I go, "Hey, are you on my side or her side or what?" And he goes, "Well, I guess we'll find out." Went and took a DNA test. Wasn't mine. It cost me about forty five hundred bucks, but it was worth every penny of it. Yeah, because imagine how much you'd be paying her now. And how did she react when you told her about the results? Oh, you should have seen the, the look on her face was worth every penny of it, Tom. It was worth every penny of it. Wow. It was great. I love that. But, uh, Did she you try know, to tell you that the DNA test was wrong like they do on the Maury Povich show all the time? No, I went to the, the state paid for it because, I, you know, when I went down there, 
You know, they're just like going, oh, well, you have a lawyer? And I go, yeah, I got a lawyer. And they go, oh, well, we can't even talk to you anymore. Uh, we'll just see you in court. I'm just like, fine. <laughs> Went down, took the DNA test, and uh, came back and uh, was uh, negative and... Uh, and saw her in court. So you and actually went in front of a judge, and uh, did the judge just throw it out? Oh, yeah. Judge, you know, case dismissed. <laughs> Done. <laughs> you know, but if I wouldn't have, like you said, I would, because I know guys that are paying uh, child support just for probable cause, just because they're living or, or sleeping with the chick that had a kid. Right. You know, it's well, guys, these morons uh, don't believe, they, they believe they're so good in bed, these studs, that these girls couldn't possibly be getting it somewhere else. Oh, they, they're getting it anywhere and everywhere they can, Tom. That's right. <laughs> Love the show. Thank you, Jeff. All right, have a good day. Yeah, you too. Look at that. All these um, happy, happy stories. Not happy for these sluts who have to uh, take care of the kid themselves. Ha <laughs> ha! But real happy for the boy. Tom, like it. 1 800 55 800. Tom. You do a wonderful job at roping us gals in, suckering us into your song, and bending us over slowly. It's amazing. And you all hate each other. It's so easy. It's the Tom Like It Show. From Los Angeles. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5-800-TOM. Two weeks from tomorrow, Boys Night Out comes to the Inland Empire. My first appearance ever in the Inland Empire at the Riverside Municipal Auditorium. I'll be your MC for Boys Night Out on Friday, October 7th at 8.30 p.m. This is a night for the boys only. Only. No wives, no girlfriends, no broads. You don't bring any broads. Oh, yeah, there'll be bras there for you to look at. But they're not going to be there nagging and harassing you like the bras you usually hang out with. It's that simple. Bobby Slayton's our headliner. John DeResta, Steve Brewer, three over-the-top comedians who understand the issues we talk about on this program. They have their own take on all of that. We will say stuff on that stage you'll never hear on the radio. Tickets are available right now by calling 714-740-2000. That's Ticketmaster. 714-740-2000. Tell them you want tickets to Boys Night Out. You can also go to the Riverside Municipal Auditorium box office, Ticketmaster.com. And for information about Boys Night Out anytime, you can go to BlowMeUpTom.com. It's all there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Hans on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Papa, how you doing? All right, son, how are you? Hey, I'm all right. Hey, uh, I was calling because uh, me and my girlfriend just had a, a little girl about four months ago. And uh, now, you know, I've been, you know, the baby doesn't look like me. And uh, I, I ask her, I go, have you ever cheated on me? And she says, no, no, no. And I go, well, you know what, I, you know, I want to get a DNA test. And she goes, well, if you do, then you won't ever see us again. I go, well, I wonder why. I go, if it's, if it's not mine, then I guess, the, you know. We won't, I won't see you again. And uh, I was just calling you to see what I can do. Or Well, first or, of all, you do not need her permission to get a DNA test, and you can do it without her knowledge. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, you get a sample from the child, uh -huh. and you provide a sample of yourself. You do not need a sample from her. Okay. That's easy to do. Okay, what was that website, website that, uh, that one guy had just given a while ago? Um, I don't have that, but there's a million websites you can go to. Okay. Uh, you just Google DNA testing or DNA testing and put your city in there. I guarantee you that plenty of places will pop up. Okay. What is it? Trust in Blood? Trustinblood.com was the website. Oh, Trust okay. in Blood. But, uh, yeah, there's plenty of places. Uh, yeah. It was $4,500. That sounds expensive. I don't think it's $4,500. Mm-hmm. What's your opinion about that? About a DNA test? No, no, about the situation I'm in. Well, I mean, you never know until you get the DNA test. And I frankly think it's awfully suspicious mm -hmm. that she said something like that. By the same token, there are some women who are just very insulted. If they never screwed around, they, they get insulted. Why would you think? Why wouldn't you trust me? Well, Yeah, that, that's what she tells me. But you do not have to let her know you're doing it. Uh -huh. you, can let, you can spring it on her if you find out you're not the father later on. Yeah, yeah. Are you married? Uh, well, I'm separated, and then she's my girlfriend. Oh, 
<laughs> and, and and what kind of birth control were you using? Uh, nothing. Why? I, I you know I don't know. I just started listening to you and. But well, why would it take a radio show to tell you something like that? Why in the world would you be so reckless with your life? Exactly. It's just you just need someone to tell you. I don't know. You just sometimes you just go through that stupid period, and I guess I went through it. And then why would when she has a kid would you take her word for it that it's yours? Because your ego. Let me save you some time. Okay. <laughs> it's your ego. Yeah. You think you're so great in the sack, she couldn't possibly be getting it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Well, she she's claiming that was her first, and that's why I went for it. And... You may have been the first. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean uh, that you're the father. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, had you been listening, you would know that you should not be with a virgin. Yes, I know. I just heard about about that about three months ago. Right. You guys were talking about that? What I say about it is true, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. They don't know a damn thing. And they don't know a damn thing, and they stick to you like glue. You can't get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, before she got pregnant, I broke up with her about five, six times. But, you know, I guess I was stupid enough to, you know, to go back. And chances are she had that baby to keep you in the relationship. Yeah, that's what I told her, and she says, you know, she denied it. Well, of course she denied it, but uh, this yeah. is just something you have to know about women. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. And that was true, what you were saying, that virgins don't know a, they don't know a damn thing. Right. And I told her I'm not going to be her teacher either, you know. I was just, mm -hmm. But. <laughs> well, all right. Well, you need to do a little research, find out where in your area you can get a DNA test done. Okay. And then when uh, she's not in the room, and I'm sure you're alone with the baby sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you will get that sample from the baby. Okay. And the testing center will tell you how to do it. Okay. And then you will take that uh, sample in along with your sample, and it'll take a few days, and then you'll get the result. Yeah. yeah but even though it's $4,500, you know, that's still worth it. It's a lot it's cheaper than 18 years of paying her. Exactly, yes, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I guess I'll do that now. Good luck, Hans. Let me know what happens. Thank you very much. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM-BOBBY. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Oh, no, no. Is this Tom? Oh, did you want to talk to Tom? Yeah. Okay, hold on, please. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Bobby on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's happening? Not much. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. I'm, I'm tripping because I got through, but I have something important to tell you. All right. Uh, about about seven years ago, I mean, I said seven months ago, actually, uh, my girlfriend, uh, she went on a, a little vacation with a with a with an uncle of hers. Yeah. And uh, God, I can't believe I'm telling you this. And uh, and what happened was that uh, she came back and. And uh, and uh, they were gone for like a week or so, and she hits me with this thing that says she's pregnant. So now I've been living with her, and we're going through this. Uh, our relationship is fine. Everything's cool. She says she's pregnant by me, but I, I sort of have this thing in the back that's telling me that, that she slept with her, her uncle. You know No. I mean? is, is her <laughs> uncle married? Huh? Is her uncle married? No, no, he, he, he's not married. He's he's uh he's a player, you know. Right. Uh, and, and it's not a blood relative. It's just a, it's just a uncle. You know what I mean? It's just. Well, wait a minute. If, not, if the bro if, if her uncle is not married. Well, yeah, they're they're they're. they're uh, how can it be a, a non-blood uncle? Well, it's a non-blood uncle due to uh, uh, by marriage by the grandparents. You know. So. I'm her grandfather or her grandmother married into his his uh, married his grandfather or his dad actually. I'm sorry. Her, boy, this is way confusing. Okay, her grandmother, right? Yeah. Is 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 married to his dad? You understand? So it it is her his grandmother is married to her grandfather. No, his dad. <laughs> his dad 
is married to her grandmother. Okay, so he's not really an uncle. Right, right, exactly. He's not even an uncle. Exactly, exactly. And and she's telling me that, that you know, that we had gotten in a little argument, and they had a timeshare, and they took off, and, and they came back. And uh, Didn't you think that was weird? I... I Oh man, you don't know how weird. And then, and then through the why, why, why hadn't you changed the locks by the time she got back? Oh, just because, uh, just because uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I had been with her. I had been seeing her for six months, and and I really like her a lot. I'm in love with her, and uh, I can't even, you know, I can't even begin to tell you that it, it's been awkward these, these last seven or eight months. And we're going to have the baby, and I live with her, and, and I take care of her. But does she happen to get pregnant right after coming back from vacationing with her uncle? Right, right. By the way, when you had sex with her, did you use birth control? No. Why not? Well, because uh, I... Because you're I, an idiot? No, not, not, not really. I, I, you know, I'm 40, and she's, and she's, uh, she's 24. Why would you want to have a baby with her without being married? Well, I mean, <laughs> I've, had, I've had sex with women... Before that, and, and, and I, you know, and, and I wasn't married. You know what I mean? I mean, it was just... Well, having sex with women is not what I'm talking about. Having sex without a condom. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean... Why? Well, because I actually I wanted a baby. Why? Why? Because, uh, because I'm 40 years old. But, but, pal, you can wait till you're 41 years old and see if you have a real relationship. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could do that, too, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I... I I think uh, I think it is to tell you the truth. Though, I think it is my kid, and I think it is my baby. So I don't think that. No, 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 no. Yeah. You you don't. You have no idea. Yeah, I don't. I really don't. And I, and I'm going through this thing right now. I mean, I'm at work right now. You know, and I work hard. I, I work real hard for for my money. And and man, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm. It's been you, this this show you had today is perfect. I mean, it's just perfect. It hit me right on the nail. You know. Hang on a second, Bobby. Uh, Drew, what did you want to say to Bobby here? Bobby, uh, I just want to say you're hands down the stupidest man alive. I, I, why do you even bother talking? You make no sense. Somebody says an uncle who's not his uncle. You're wasting everyone's time. Just shut up and go crawl back into the gutter that you came from. <laughs> yeah. I think there's your answer right there. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I meet this girl the other night, and she's really hot, but she comes up to me at the bar, and she goes, oh, I want to be friends first. You got friends, right? Did you ever think of place in a classified ad saying, you know what I need? Some more pals. <laughs> I wanted to be friends with my penis. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Pop. How you doing? Doing okay, son. All right. So I wanted to get your advice here. Um, I had an ex-girlfriend. Uh, she got pregnant. Uh, we, I told her I didn't want to have a kid. We broke up. She uh, Basically, I told her like I needed to see proof before I lifted a finger to help her in any way. She never did, so I never helped her. Now she has had the child and uh, has admitted that she was sleeping with other guys. Um, actually, and she she just got a uh, a paternity test with one of the guys apparently, from what I hear, and it has apparently come back positive for this guy. However, um, she she has blown so much smoke up my crack over the like since I've known her that I really can't trust a single word she says, and I'm wondering what uh what you feel I should do should I get like a photocopy of those results or well I mean uh, they don't have to provide those to you uh do you have them available to you no I think I could uh I mean she she was she, she the last like two times I've talked to her she's like been agreeing to do a paternity test but then she's saying that she's got this other positive result and yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just confused. Oh, yeah. I'll tell, well, if you can get a copy, great. If you can't, uh, you know, she's not required to provide it to you. You always have the option of trying to get that DNA test yourself. Good luck, Ron. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show.